Nuclear power plants provide power to the electrical grid. During a shutdown, they use off-site power to remove the residual heat of the reactor. If the off-site power supply is interrupted, backup systems are automatically engaged to power vital functions in order to remove heat from the reactor core without the main heatsink. But what if backup systems are damaged, as happened with the tsunami at the Fukushima Daiichi plant? The heat removal system developed in the SCO24 NPP project can remove heat from the reactor with supercritical carbon dioxide as the working fluid in a Brayton cycle. In the case of station blackout, the main heat sink is lost. With the backup SCO2 system, steam from the steam generator flows into the compact heat exchanger to be condensed by the cold SCO2. This condensate flows back to the steam generator by gravity. The heated SCO2 flows through the turbine, driving the compressor and generator mounted on the same shaft. The obtained electrical energy powers the air coolers, which remove the decay heat to the air and cool down the SCO2 back into a cold, dense fluid, which is pumped by the compressor back to the compact heat exchanger, closing the cycle. Since the turbine extracts more power than needed, the surplus could be used to support vital plant functions during a station blackout. Launched autonomously, each module of the SCO24 NPP heat removal system would be independent from off-site power and external water supplies, raising nuclear safety to a new level. The highly compact plate-fin heat exchanger, which cools down the water from the reactor, has a large surface-to-volume ratio, thanks to a patented design of fluid management and the low viscosity of SCO2, which allows very small channel diameters. The turbo machine designed in the project is a turbo alternator compressor with a very compact structure. Considering a wide operational range, the machine is quite robust. Testing of a small-scale turbo machine with magnetic bearings and gas bearings brought fundamental knowledge and confirmed performance with the special properties of supercritical CO2. The air coolers for the ultimate heat sink cool down the SCO2 thanks to airflow driven by fans and are designed with open passage to allow minimum pressure drop while air cooling. The control strategy for the SCO2 system is modular, with a designed heat removal capacity of 10 MW per module to adapt to the declining decay heat. First, all modules are launched at maximum capacity to level the decay heat as quickly as possible. As heat decreases, modules shut down one by one to preserve the operational conditions. In simulations done for a convoy plant, this strategy extended the grace period for intervention beyond 72 hours. Placement of the modules depends on local conditions at the plant, ideally near the reactor and steam generators, but outside the containment for reasons of safety and access. To ensure the SCO2 heat removal system is applicable to existing and future European nuclear power plants, three different reactor types were numerically investigated with the help of qualified thermal hydraulic codes. Coupling a model of the system to a nuclear power plant training simulator allowed behavior to be assessed in a realistic environment with all its interactions. After successfully coupling the simulation codes, the whole system confirmed the increased safety margins in a station blackout scenario.